giant jumping fish. It's a familiar sight here off the waters leading towards Lake Michigan. They're called Asian carp and they can grow up to four foot long. This canal is all that stands in the way between the Asian carp and the Great Lakes up there. That's why they've built this control centre to send electrical pulses into the water to stop the carp from getting any further. But some say that on its own, this electrical barrier won't be enough and are calling for more drastic measures. The fish have infested the Mississippi River and are now not far from the Great Lakes. The US Army Corps of Engineers have proposed blocking the canal system at various points here. It could cost up to $18 billion. There's 9.1 million people in Chicago in a matter of a little over 100 years. That canal's been there. The, uh, the economic uh, uh, impact is uh, considerable. Another cheaper option is to mince up the fish and eat them out of existence. Here, fishmonger Dirk Fuchik is making burgers out of the carp. Well, I can't wait to try there it. There you have a world-famous Dirk's Fish Carp Burger. Mm. And that's the cheese-stuffed one. Right? That's really nice. It's good, right? I mean, it's the carp invasion of the Great Lakes is a problem that will affect the rest of the world. 20% of the world's fresh water is in the Great Lakes. Um, we've seen effects from invasive species, which has also led to effects of climate change. We obviously want to protect this one-time natural resource. From an economic standpoint, again, I think that what you'll find is in order to keep invasive species out, U.S. and Canadian policy and laws may make it harder to do shipping down the line that maybe folks in the United Kingdom would, would rely on to make sure that their goods and services can get here, or it could increase it because it's going to cost more to transport. The city and neighbouring states will have to find a solution soon. Some, though, believe that the fish are unstoppable and that it's only a matter of time before these monstrous creatures make the Great Lakes their new home. Alab Ghosh, BBC News, Chicago.